The Northbox 6XL Deluxe Kit comes with four laser cut panels with fans and protective grills pre-installed. You also get a 12 volt power supply and some additional hardware. If you bought a bear kit, you will need to install the fans yourself. The nylon push pins hold the fans to the panel. Just line up the fan, making sure the direction of airflow is up or towards you, then press it into place. Make sure that the power cable does not face out towards the longer side of the panel, or they may get pinched by the filters. Some fans use cables that string together. If your fans have just a single power connector, then you need to use the supplied splitter cable to connect all the fans to the two power supply connectors. Bear kits come with two of these cables, so you can get power to all six fans. First start with the bottom panel. You can identify it by the rubber feet. Take the panel without fans on it and connect it to the friction fit corner. Now turn the assembly on its side as the rest of the panels are quite heavy. Start with the fan panel that does not have a friction fit corner. Don't worry about pushing it all the way in. We will tighten everything up at the end. Finally, add the top fan panel. Now we have some hardware to add. Separate the nuts from the screws. Be sure to have one washer on both sides of the panel. Just finger tighten for now. The middle fan on each panel has one hole without a push pin. Put the long bolt through and attach the corner bracket to the bottom of the fan. Again, making sure to have a washer on both sides. Use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten the bolts. Be careful not to over tighten the bolts on the fans as you might damage the plastic. Now we are going to add the power input cable.
the strain relief pushes into the oval hole on the bottom of the side panel. These particular fans use special cables to chain the fans together for power distribution. Chain the cables together in sets of three. The fan nearest to the power cable will provide power to the other two. Now we are going to install the tension cords. Squeezing the cord lock allows you to remove the cord. Squeeze the cord lock and insert both ends of the cord. Don't make it too tight at this stage. Repeat the procedure for the other cord. We're going to use a pair of 20 by 20 by 1 inch filters. Any filter rated MERV 13 will work. Be sure to check that the airflow arrow points into the box. Also make sure that the pleats of the filter are orientated vertically so they won't sag over time. You may need to pull the corners apart slightly to get the filter in. Once you have the first filter in place, you can sit the box upright. Take out your power supply. Plug it in and connect it to make sure that all the fans are running and that airflow is going out from the fan grills. Now use the supplied cable ties to bundle up all the loose cables together so they don't end up hitting the fan blades. You can connect the cable bundles to the tension cords. Snip away all the excess cable ties. Now tighten up the tension cords by pressing on the cord locks. Now install the second filter in the same way you installed the first.
press the sides together for a good tight fit. Test it one more time and you are done. Thanks for watching.